so we'll go to the asset class creation now first we will assign the number range so here are, we have two options specify number range across company codes or we can have number range by company codes so SAP gives two options so normally what happen is if it depends on business requirement if if it's a shared service environment then companies prefer to have number range across company code so that they don't need to remember the company code along with the set number but if it is normally not a shared service environment a normal business environment then they prefer to have number range by company code so that every company every uh, accounting team in each country can remember can work on their own account assets they know their range of assets rather than jumping here and there because of number range because otherwise if it is a cross company number range SAP will generate a inconsistent number range across company codes and for people sitting at different one location let's say people sitting at Germany they say we just need to know the assets which are Germany so it will be like asset number 1, asset number 25, asset number 38 because other asset number will be consumed by different company codes for shared service environment it is better to have a unique number range across company codes okay so AA01 is assigned to AUS okay that's chart of the assign number range specify number range across company codes so AA01 will take number range from AA01 okay so here what we did is now we have we have a depreciation area structure so in the structure we have told, told system that okay area one will post in real time and that's a main ledger leading ledger and for a local ledger the area post APC immediately in depreciation periodically and that's we have assigned to the local accounting principle and the target ledger group is A3 so we are done with number range now we will try to create some asset classes first we will define asset class what 
what we'll do is we'll copy one and we will say a a zero 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 one land and building and then we have determination will be same and then we save it okay we'll create another one we'll make a copy a a 0 2 and then we will say plant and machinery and we will change the account determination we will change the screen layout we will work on the screen layouts and account determination what is all about in as we move forward so we have two asset classes now let's have one more uh, this is plant and machinery copy one more and we will say computer and computers account determination will again change it will go to hardware and IT and the screen layout will also change So we have three asset classes now. Oh, we make the name inconsistent. Okay, so we have let's let's create one more. Computer, the one we have to delete because that's something number range is inconsistent I'll show you hardware okay so this is the one we are talking about we'll create some intangibles well and then we will delete this one okay so we have four asset classes now one two we again did a mistake it was a a So this one we can delete and now we have four set classes 
this is the final summary this is this one we will work upon we have taken four classes So the next option is specify a chart of dep depreciation dependent screen layout or account assignment. So what we do here is we will go to our asset class and then we will see to which chart of depreciation th th these are assigned. So we have AUS right. So we are activating all our asset class which we just created for our chart of depreciation. Okay. So this is we are done with asset class creation. As we move on, we will have integration with GL. But before that, we will go to the defaults of these depreciated asset classes, what we just created. We'll talk about screen layout first. Define screen layout for asset master data. So there we have screen layout use general machines. We'll try to see what is assigned here. So this is screen determines when you have an asset master data, which all field will be optional, which all field will be mandatory and which are field which are hidden. For example, if the asset class we have just created assigned with the screen layout 2000, then it will look like this. Your description will be required. Your description to all these will be optional. Serial number will be optional. I can make it mandatory. Okay, the first part. Now if I go out, I have posting information. Cap date is not required at the time of creation, but so anything is not required at this at the time of creation. Time dependent data, this is very important. So here you have a cost center, you can have a cost center mandatory, you can say anything is other is mandatory or optional. No is it's hidden, it's not open. Shutdown indicator is optional. I'll explain you the logic of shutdown indicator. Business area not, let's keep it for the time being. Okay, so with this, 
we can easily tweak the fields based on asset master data say one we have two screen layouts 1000 and 2000 then let's say for fields required for computers and equipment will not be required for land and buildings right so you can accordingly change your screen layouts now we will see this one description is required posting information it's all optional because it's land not we will not need lot of things cost center is required because cost center will derive the depreciation so if you don't put the cost center mandatory then when you post a depreciation it will give you an error and if some if somebody gives you that option so screen layout cost center will is as i said is mandatory because it create it's a financial impact a depreciation impact okay evaluation group i'll talk about you know this is something a uh, field which sap has given you can rename this field so we will see you know how to, how to use this field as we move on leasing okay so this is what is known as screen layout what does do is this is a new feature there is no help so screen layout for asset depreciation areas So we have screen layout thousand, and then we have here we have what is optional and what is required. So depreciation key is requ always required. Useful life depends on the life and the method. So from depreciation ta area tap perspective, what is required and what is optional, you control from here. We will do this configuration as well. <coughs> 